Hi, I'm Patrick. Let's talk about the Gaddis naming conventions. This is something I get asked a lot about, and at first it may seem complex, but if you can memorize a few key letters and numbers, you'll know all of our Greece names. So let's look at the first slot. S1 through S5 is the performance tier. S1, 2, and 3 are mineral greases. S4 is a semi-synthetic grease, and S5 indicates a full synthetic grease. So if you want to go from mineral to full synthetic, just switch S3 to S5. The next slot, the letter T or the letter V, that's for the thickener type. Most common greases use either lithium, a lithium complex, or polyurea. For the lithium or lithium complex greases, these are indicated with the letter V, and polyurea is indicated with the letter T. There's other thickeners as well, but they're not as commonly used and are more for specialty applications. The next number, like 100 or 220 or 460, those are of course isoviscosity grades. It's a standard isoviscosity grades just like you see on oil. Right after the viscosity, you'll have letters like A, C, D, or X. And if you can remember those, you'll have a pretty good indication of what additives are in the oil. The final number is the NLGI grade. That's pretty straightforward. Most greases are NLGI 2, 1, and 1.5 are also pretty common. Let's look at a specific example. Gaddis S3 V460D2. S3 indicates that it's uh, mineral grease. S3V as a combination indicates that it's lithium complex. It's ISO 460, that's an easy one. Letter D in this case indicates that it has solids, uh, specifically moly. In this case, it's 3% moly. And then NLGI number two. So again, Gaddis S3 V460 D2. So then you might ask, well, Patrick, that's a 3% moly grease. What if I want a 5% moly grease? Extra moly. I'm just gonna put the letter X right in front of the letter D. Now you have Gaddis S3 V460 XD2. That's a 5% moly grease mineral base oil. Maybe you ask, well, Patrick, it's winter time. Can we make this grease a little more pumpable? You sure can. I'll just change the name to Gaddis S3 V460 XD1. The one means the lower NLGI grade, and it'd be more pumpable than the equivalent number two version. By now you should get the uh, impression that if you can memorize a few letters, it's not that complicated. But just to reiterate the point, let's look at one more example. Gaddis S3 V460 1.5. This of course is a mineral grease, lithium complex, ISO 460, and LGI 1.5. It's right in the name. Uh, it's pretty common in steel mills or high temperature applications. Good for high temperatures, high loads. Uh, of course it's mineral grease because it's S3. But say you come to me and say, hey Patrick, can we make this uh, higher performing grease, maybe for high temperatures, uh, an extended operating range? Simple, let's make it full synthetic. Just change the S3 to S5. Now you have Gaddis S5 V460 1.5. What if you come to me and say, hey Patrick, I need something for even higher temperatures. I'd say, all right, we're already at full synthetic. You probably want polyurea. All we have to do is change the letter V to letter T. Now we have Gaddis S5 T460 1.5. In this sense, it's almost like you're building your own grease. Uh, when you look at the application and when you're determining what base oil, what thickener types to use, you just plug it into the Gaddis naming conventions and find the appropriate grease product for your application.